here's the deal for today right um there is a show that piqued my interest it's called to tell the truth it was it's a show it's a new show so they they get a panel and this panel has to guess who is the real person they're talking about and so the other people sit across from them uh they ask questions to try to figure out who that person is and uh they kind of go from there but i found out that it's originally a show from the 60s and the episodes are on youtube so i figured why not just watch a little bit of it see what tv was like in the 60s the black and white days because that's a little interesting it might not be i might not understand what they're talking about and i might not understand the, the, like the it's 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 interesting because it's such a different time that like how they talk their jokes everything is totally different so i'm, I'm kind of uh intrigued it piqued my interest to see because i've never really watched a black and white show so one of these men was personal bodyguard to winston churchill wait this isn't the playlist that i originally found your name please my name okay no this is it henry thompson never mind never mind me here we go my name is walter henry thompson what is your name please my name is walter henry thompson two of these people are imposters only one is the real walter henry thompson and is the only one sworn to tell the truth now here is our host bud collier <laughs> Arid? They still had Arid? Holy shit, that's crazy. Don't be half safe, be completely safe. Use Arid cream deodorant to be sure. You got it, bud. Our panel. First, Miss Polly Bergen. Then, Mr. Don Amici. Next, Miss Kitty Carlisle. And finally, Mr. Tom Poston. So I don't know if the, these are celebrities. Um, on the panel, I know, I think the new one, the whole panel is celebrities and they're guessing, but I'm not a hundred percent sure to be honest with you. I haven't seen the new version, so I don't know if these are just old school celebrities or not. Now panel, will you please follow along with your copies of this affidavit as I read it? I, Walter Henry Thompson, started my career in police work as a London bobby. I eventually retired as a detective inspector of Scotland Yard. I am in this country on a lecture tour. The part of my career that seems to interest my audience most is the 17 years I spent in both war and peace as personal bodyguard to Winston Churchill. Signed, Walter Henry Thompson. Yo, not to be like mean or anything, but people looked a lot different. <laughs> Back in the day, I don't know if it has to do with style or what, but something about it is just odd. Like they 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 look like imposters to humans, you know. All right, which one's the bodyguard? It's got to be the middle guy, right? No shot, it's not the middle guy. I I would know just right off the bat. Finally, you heard this stalwart group of gentlemen all claiming to be Walter Henry Thompson, former bodyguard to Winston Churchill. Gentlemen, are you comfortably settled? All right, then let's begin this first round of questioning tonight with Kitty Carlisle. Kitty? Thank you, bud. Um, number one, which member of Mr. Church, of Sir Winston's family, was an American? Number one. There was two. Which, what, what were they? Well, one was the son and one was a daughter, if I guess. Uh, number two, can you tell me which members of Mr. Churchill's ancestral family were American? His mother. Uh, number three, did you ever go to America with, Mr. with Sir Winston? Yes, indeed. Did you visit uh, Mr. Baruch? Yes, indeed. Uh, number, number one, number three, where is Hobcourt? Mm -hmm. Hobcourt? Hobcourt. Number two, do you know where Hobcourt is? Yeah, either North or South Carolina. It's Baruch's um, Carolina home. South Carolina, I think. South Carolina. I think so. Uh, number one, can you tell me where Mr. Church, Sir Winston, I can't seem to call him Sir Winston. Where does cigars come from? Well, some come from Cuba, uh, yes, from Cuba. Tom Poston. Thank you, bud. 
number two, please. How old is Sir Winston Churchill? 85 last November. Can you tell me still number two, please? Uh, what years uh, Sir Winston uh, was not the prime minister? No, no. I mean, after he became <laughs> prime minister, and then he was not, and then he was again, what were the years that he was not? I'm lost. 1945 to 1950. Do you agree with that number three? You mean after the war, previous to the war, sir? Well, it, in the whole career. Well, <laughs> I'd like to know when he was uh, prime minister and then was not again before the war. Oh. I'm so lost. I have no you know idea. Three. What what the question well, is? Uh, I don't even. Yeah, that was uh, in the period he was ministered to. Polly Bergen. That's the rottenest thing. <laughs> well, I have a little signal here. It's been on a long they talk? time. Oh, it's so weird, too. All righty. Uh, number one, who writes most of uh, Sir Winston's speeches? Himself. Uh, number two, is that true? Oh, certainly. Number three, what is different, uh, the basic difference between an American policeman and a London bobby? Well, there's a difference in the uniform. There's a difference in the fact that uh, uh, a British policeman doesn't carry a weapon, a firearm, except if he's protecting somebody or on an emergency. Number one, uh, was Sherlock Holmes a real person? <coughs> no. Number two, was he real? Oh, of course he was. I'm a member of the Baker Street Irregulars. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, smug bastard. Uh, where does Mr. Do you have any idea where Mr. Gardner? Um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not Mr. Gardner. Uh, forget it anyway. Uh, and number three, where is Scotland Yard located? Scotland Yard is uh, located on the embankment between Whitehall and the embankment. Don? Number three, where did the first meeting between uh, uh, Roosevelt and Sir Winston take place? The first one? First. It During the war. Uh, Atlantic Charter meeting at Placentia Bay, New Newfoundland. Where did it take place, number one? Uh, in, number one. In Placenta Bay. I beg your pardon? In Placenta Bay. Number two, where did it take place? In, in Placenta Bay, North Newfoundland. Number one, when, uh, number three, when did that take place? That was not the end, towards the end of 1941. Uh, number one, how old is Sarah Churchill? Number two. I think she's about 38. Number two? 340. I should say 30. This guy... Number three. This guy's That's aggressive. It, sorry, it's time to vote, panel. Why is so he being so aggressive? Will you kindly mark your ballot? And as you always do, select number one, number two... They speak in such three. a weird cadence in these old the videos. The usual $250 for every incorrect vote. Everybody mark their ballots? Polly, for whom did you vote this first time tonight? Uh, I voted for number two. Uh, Has to be number two. Well, most of his questions seem to be a little more accurate than the other two. He's got bodyguard energy about him, you know. What about your selection? I voted for number two because uh, it was my impression all bodyguards must wear blue suits. <laughs> God, I can't tell he's blue if it's blue. Kitty, which one is your choice? I voted for number two. Um, he knew about Hobco, which is Mr. Brooks place in the south don't lie you yeah. just knew just by looking at him he's a bodyguard you guys all knew before it even started which one do you like as the real one well uh i i voted <laughs> number three and we'll see, bud. We'll see. <laughs> he that last week and he was right all right, all right. let's double check it now and see how right or wrong we are if you've heard our votes and the reasons we voted the way we did let's discover now which one of these gentlemen is really the former bodyguard to Winston Churchill. So will the real Walter Henry Thompson please stand up? Oh my God, what? Dude, no way. There's no way. Look at them, they're all pissed. Very much. Number two, would you tell us your real name since you've gone at most of the votes and what you really do, sir? My name is Peter Gregg, and I'm associated with Brown Vintners, importers of wines and spirits. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Who delivers and number wine? Two, your real name and what you do, please? My real name is Nicholas W. Orloff. I'm a Russian born American citizen. I was the chief interpreter of the United Nations, and now I'm a freelance interpreter and I was the interpreter on another network for television on the Khrushchev tour recently. Thank you, sir. Yes, Kitty. 
Number one said that his, his daughter and his son were Americans. Either he didn't understand me or I didn't understand him. I believe he misunderstood the question. When I asked I... how many members of his family were Americans. I thought you said how many of his family had visited America. Oh. Had, were in America. That's I'm what so I thought. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll let him get by with that. <laughs> All right. Well, in checking up on She's our She's pissed, dude. We she wants to go strangle that bastard. At $250 each for a total of $1,000 from Ari, gentlemen. And on your way out, a gift... 1,000 smackers, dude. Oh, boy. Thank you very much for being with us. Good night and good luck to you. Oh, boy. $1,000. Now, panel, let's meet our next team of challengers. Handicap in the New England Sled Dog Championships and placed seventh in the 1959 World Championships against a field of 24 older people. I am the youngest person in history ever to compete in the 100 mile Quebec International Dog Sled Race, which was held last season in weather 30 degrees below zero. Signed, Johnny Piscopo. Panel, you heard these three young men all claim to be Johnny Piscopo, dog sled racing driver, and let's start this round of questioning with. Polly Bergen. Polly? Thank you, Brad. Uh, number one, uh, what do you say to a dog sled dog to make them go? Well, there are a number of words. Any dog may have, of any driver may have his own word, but uh, the popular one is a head or... A head? A head or go. What or happened to mush? Well, mush was never, actually was never used. It's a French word that was derived from marsh. It wasn't it was really mush all these years? No, it was marsh. No. <laughs> you realize the fraud that's been perpetrated yes, on do. the public? Yes, I do. Terror. Number two, uh, you don't have to say mush, do you? No. No, he doesn't either. Well, number two, do, uh, what, what mainly is the pedigree of most sled, do sled dogs? Yeah. Siberian Huskies. I beg your pardon? Siberian Huskies. Siberian Huskies. Number three, is there any other kind that's used a great deal? Yes, you can either use Malmuse. They're strong for work or a crossbreed. Or once we saw, I saw a Cocker Spaniel. A Cocker <laughs> Spaniel? <laughs> what? A Cocker <laughs> Spaniel? Sure? <laughs> Number three, how many dogs in a team sorry. that races? Well, it depends usually on how well the driver can control them, but anywhere from five, uh, three to 13, usually five, six. Uh, number one, what's the name of the hotel high on the banks of the St. Lawrence in Quebec? Uh, I do not know. Number two? I don't know. Number three? I don't know. Uh, number one. This is the guy who is aggressive with asking well, questions. To train a dog requires skill and patience, and uh, you can't be harsh to a dog. Number two, how do you train them? Everybody's got his own way. Number two. <laughs> I think it's too late for these kids to be up. <laughs> They're up a lot higher than we are right yeah. now. Number three, you come from New England. Yes, you were you were racing through strange territory then. No, uh, in in, oh, uh, in, in Quebec. Quebec. Yes. Well, not really. We got a lay of the land when we weren't up there. Where did you bivouac on this hundred mile jaunt? Pardon? Where did you bivouac? Where did you sleep? <laughs> Where did you sleep? Oh, yeah. Motel in Quebec. Oh, don't fool no, around no, with these we... kids, Kitty. I'll tell you. <laughs> number one, uh, where did you sleep? Well, we sleep in a hotel also. You did. Where, number two, where do you come from? Marconi, New Hampshire. Tom, thank you. Here, now. Here, here. <laughs> number two, approximately what weight would you say a Malmute uh, uh, goes at, at full grown? Well, two. they're not all the same weight, I'd say. Don't give me any of those sly, shifty, amazed <laughs> bands. They all know it's not two. 50 pounds. How, would you, how much would you say, number three? Well, around there, they do vary, though, depending on the dog. I'll see. Do you know anything, number three, do you know anything about the great dog sled uh, uh, hero story where they brought serum to a, to a beleaguered community? Well... <laughs> Sorry to have to break in, but it's time to vote once again. So without consultation, panel, will you please mark your ballots once again and select thereby... I have no one. idea, dude. Number two... Probably one, I guess. Number three. One or three. Panel, all Mainly leading two. toward one. If anyone's marked a ballot yet, are you, Polly? Yes, I have. Oh, I thought the screen was froze. Already, Polly? No. <laughs> I... I uh... Be ready, Amy, Miney, Miney, <laughs> Mo, 
I don't have any I Oh, well. I don't care who it is. I think they're too young to be taught to lie. That's the way I feel. <laughs> I voted for number two because I was wrong last time. Oh, I see. All <laughs> right. Don, you're both. Wait, I wonder how old... Does it say their names? Okay, it has the panel. Polly Bergen. I wonder how old she is. So, I, I'm just... Because the Vsauce video, he talked about how we think people look older just because, um... Like, fashion and fashion trends from back in the day, so... She might look older than she actually is. Like, she's probably, like, in her 20s or something. But because her hair and all this other stuff... In our mind, she looks older. Uh, because that's how, like, all old people do their hair and stuff. I voted for number three. I don't know. I just... She looks like the kind to be able to best handle a group of dogs. I thought. <laughs> and Kitty? I forgot about that. I voted for number three because when he said he'd seen a Cocker Spaniel in a dog sled team, he really looked as if he'd seen one. He kept nodding all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and Tom, your vote. I, I, it was a real toss-up for me between two and three. I voted for two, as it says here, unless I'm wrong, in which case I voted for three. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 they were both... Uh, I thought two had like a... a... Malmute actually goes about 100 pounds. I know because I got a letter from a fellow who has a Malmute, and he sent me a picture of him and so forth, and... Uh, he's a fat dog. He's is a fat <laughs> Malmute. He's, he's overweight. <laughs> I thought... Two like answered something wrong. And let's see whether or not, if you're guessing along with us at home, you work out as well as the panel did, or maybe better. We'll see which one of these young men here is the real dog sled racing driver. The will the real Johnny Piscopo, please stand up. It was two. Yo, this is where Eminem got his uh, his song idea from. Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? He got it from this. We figured it out. We figured it out. Let up the votes there, so you did a very good job, fellas. Now, number one, would you tell us your real name and what you really do, son? Where you go and so forth? Well, I'm Philip Menlo, and I go to collegiate school in the eighth grade here in New York. Good boy. Good boy. Calm down, and dude. That leaves number three. What is your real I'm name? I'm Nat Stillman, and I'm in, in his class. <laughs> Oh, boy, just for the information of it, where do you go to school, son? Number two. In uh, Tilton, New Hampshire. Tilton, New Hampshire. What grade are you in? Seventh. Seventh grade. Well, you did a fine job. And there were two correct and two incorrect votes. That means at $250 each, it's $500 for you three stalwart young men. What is your name, please? My name is Nancy Airy. What is your name, please? My name is Nancy Airy. What is your name, please? My name is Nancy Airy. Please listen. They all again, look like Thomas, pictures. <laughs> like pictures you see hanging up in like museums and stuff. I, Nancy Airy, have two separate jobs. From December to March, I work as a shipping clerk for a lobster company. From March to December, however, I become a lobster fisherman myself. Each morning at 5.30, I am offshore in my 16-foot outboard wherry, tending my string of 50 traps. I am one of the very few women in the country licensed as a professional lobster man. Signed, Nancy Airy. I'm calling it now. It's number two. I'm calling it right now. It's number two. We'll see on the answers, but Please, I think it's number two, dude. Time panel. No way. I mean to be a no, it's not. Man. How they do that, I don't know, but let's find out as we start this round of questioning with Don Amici. Huh? Number one, weight-wise, what is the variation in lobsters? Oh, it goes from about, uh, you mean legal size? Yes. From about a pound to four and a half, five pounds. Uh, number uh, two, how many kinds of lobsters? What do you mean, kinds? Kinds. Lobsters, females and males. <laughs> That was pretty good, actually. <laughs> Number three, how old must the lobster be to be legally caught? I don't know. Number two, one? I don't know. Number two? How could you tell his age? 
<laughs> yeah, get him. He's an asshole, dude. Some of the comedians better find out who writes her material. <laughs> Oh, dude, that was a sexist-ass joke. Get out of here with that bullshit, dude. I hate this guy. Give me a clause somewhere that covers that. A clause? A clause. A clause. Kitty. How can Kitty you tell male? Sorry. How can you tell male from female? Well, when you open them up, you can find uh, coral inside. That means it's a female. But not on the outside. Yes. You can tell on the outside. No, not no, unless the eggs so. are on the outside. Uh-huh. Number two, uh, when are they at their smallest? When they're baby. <laughs> <laughs> what season of the year are they at their smallest? There's not any season of the year that they're smaller than other times. There's no season for lobster. Is there any season when they're smallest, number one? No. Number three, what is a wherry? It's a small round bottom skiff. Round bottom? Round bottom <laughs> skiff used for work. Uh, used for work? I guess. Uh-huh. Uh, number three, can you tell me, um, how much a lobster you, retails per- Wait, how much do they study for this? And how does the panel know about lobsters? Why are, like, why, how do, are they just given questions? Because they're, they're asking these questions like, like, they know what they're talking about. Like, they are being very serious, you know? Um... And the contestants have to answer it like pretty quickly. So they gotta do a lot of studying before this, like on both sides. Well, um, sorry, Kitty. Number three, what is the derivation of the name Airy? I don't know. I believe it's Scott. Thank you. Uh, I'll ask some lobster questions now. <laughs> uh, number three again, what is the lobster's natural enemy? Themselves. I see. Number one, what is the difference between no you'll answer that won't you number two the difference between main and other kinds of lobsters which number 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 two i'm sorry two? oh excuse me sir um they're all the same i mean lobsters uh, are lobster number number three would you consider that a a, a, a perfect answer main lobsters and other kinds well do you mean like for the different states of the main coast or? Well, what about the west coast lobsters? Well, they speak with a different accent. <laughs> Holly? I don't trust any of them. <laughs> uh, especially number two. Uh, number one. I uh, think number where two. Do you fish? She's got the perfect level of sass to be this thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's like, you guys are asking dumb questions. No one cares about this shit in this field. You guys are asking these questions because they were given to you or whatever it might be, but they're dumb questions, so I still think it's number two. For lobster. Muscle Ridge Channel. I beg your pardon. Muscle Ridge Channel. Muscle Ridge Channel. Where is that? Right outside Bucks Harbor. Right outside who? <laughs> right outside Bucks Harbor. Where is that? <laughs> Well, that's near Castine. <laughs> Did I miss something? Number one, what state do you fish in? <laughs> Maine. In Maine. Oh, Num oh, there you are. Number two, uh, what state do you fish in? Maine. Maine. Three the same, Maine? Sure. Maine. Uh, I don't know anything about Maine, and I don't know anything about lobsters. So. Uh, All right. It's time to vote. I'll probably be the only one that gets the right answer. So, <laughs> panel, once again, will you kindly mark your ballot? And vote for, of course, number one, number two. It's number two, or dude. Number three. If it's not number two, I will be very surprised. I just can't stand this show anymore. It's getting so hard. I don't understand. I think that it's a whole thing. I really do, and I don't. I really. <laughs> I just... You're stalling for time, Polly. Yes, I was, as a matter of fact. Uh, well, I'll tell you quite honestly that, you know, what I know about lobsters, you could... Put in your claw. You sure could. <laughs> and I voted for number two because, uh, uh... I think she's got a lot of guts. <laughs> <laughs> now, after that, if you got the guts...
have to cast your vote. <laughs> yes, I, I cast my vote for uh, uh, cash. <laughs> cast my vote for number two also. I feel that anyone uh, that can trap as well as she can ought to be, do well by Lousdown, as well as on a camel show. <laughs> okay, Kitty. I voted for number one. I thought she had sort of a main accent, and she certainly knew where she fished in the strangest places. <laughs> and Tom, your vote, please. She did. I, I didn't vote for number one. I'm sorry. I voted for number two, bud. Uh, first of all, because she looks like a friend of mine who uh, runs a, a lobster restaurant and her husband works in a lobster company. No, it's not the same person, but she looks like it. That's my reasoning. But number one, I, I felt, I said in a way, I thought she was very well schooled, you know, and they, they do a terrific job of that here. Willie is fantastic, and I thought maybe she knew too much. <laughs> All right, there we have it. Let's find out now, and uh, hold your horses until That was an insult, right dude. Now, which one he just insulted number real? two while he voted for it, dude. I'd kick that piece of shit's ass, dude. Lobster fisherman. The Willow Reel. Nancy Airy. Please. Stand up. <laughs> what? No way, dude. There's no way. What? You gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> well done, believe me. A very good job, all of you. Number one, could you tell us your real name and what you do, please? Yes, my name is Eileen Chuck. I work with mobile videotape for NVT Television here in New York. Thank you. <laughs> That's fucked up. And number two, your real name and what you My do? name is Mildred Piscopo, and my son is Johnny Piscopo, the sled dog driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's the mother of the... <laughs> one question I have for numbers one and two, did you ever fish for lobsters in your life? No. Nope. Never did? <laughs> Boy, I think they were just great. Yes, Tom? You should be on uh, the other end. <laughs> number, may I ask number three? Uh, now, it struck me that you might have a trace of an accent. How come you weren't more familiar with where the name Airy came from? If you're that close, are you not that close to it? Do you have a, what he's trying to say is, uh, do you have a, an accent like Scotch or, or... When I asked you where Airy came from, you said, I don't know first, and then you said, I think it may be Scotch. Was it that, uh, just that far away in your mind? Well, that's, that's right. <laughs> that's all. That's all there My is. My father, I should have said. You can tell me after the show where Poston comes from. But I guess that's all the time we have. We check up here on the score. We find he does, he's not good at... Which means articulating his questions for a total of 1000